we also didn't have a ton of drafting practice. And drafting practice when they're out there with eight or ten car groups is nothing like this. Uh, it's, it's, this is their first on hands for a lot of these guys. And it, it'll be a little stressful. That's Brian Scott right there in the middle in that number 75. You see him wiggling around. These cars look to be a handful for these drivers today. See Mario Gosling move by on the inside of J.R. Hefner. Ooh, there's oh, some problems. contact right there. Allie Owens in the 12 gets turned around. There's some contact as they came through the tri-oval. She is going to slide into the grass. Doesn't look like she'll touch anything there. That will bring out caution number one here at Daytona. You see the roof flaps deploy when she got turned around. That keeps that car down on the ground. She did a nice job not making any contact with the inside wall. See, Allie gets her car right and going, heading back towards the racetrack. Flat, couple flats. What happens when these things get to wobbling? Now, she got pushed down a little bit, which made her go back up a little bit. Now, when she got back up, she got into that black car, and then that's it. But it's nice to know all that asphalt's down there, isn't it, Kenny? You don't want those cars sliding through the grass as much. That asphalt really helps keep these, keep these cars on the ground. They slow down on the asphalt. They don't slow down at all on the, on the grass. You see the contact right there with the J.R. Hefner car, the 39. Remember, she's running 180 miles an hour when, when she starts that spin. Coming out of the trial of the 12 of Allie Owens gets turned around. 